Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. This is the channel where we talk about fragrances and as well, I do like to share style tips with how to accessorize those fragrances. Just different colors, textures to wear, outfits, accessories, all those fun things to style up your fragrance because I feel that the two really go hand in hand. You know, it's not only important how you smell, but it's also important how you look. And so I really just like to blend the two together and offer my tips and suggestions on that. All right, anyways, so I, you know, with talking about the fragrance that we're gonna be reviewing today or looking into, I just wanna start off by saying who has been to the Moulin Rouge or Paris or who has seen the movie, The Moulin Rouge? Um, I want to say, you know, this fragrance and the bottle design, I feel really kind of echoes the Moulin Rouge, um, Paris and the fashion and really, you know, it has that fun sort of flirty sort of coquettish vibe to it. Now I have tried the original Scandal, so I was really excited to check this one out. All right, so let's get to it. Okay guys, so some first impressions on this scent. So it does start off with a very tart or sharp raspberry. Um, this I found was there only very brief. Um, and then, you know, the milk, tuberose, orange blossom, and jasmine do come through. The milk really added that nice balance to the tart and the sweetness of the fragrance. Um, yeah, it just really balanced it out, gave it a nice creaminess. And yeah, the raspberry, like I said, it did have that tart sharpness in the beginning, but it also has a little bit of that juicy, jammy sort of um, sumptuous vibe to it, which I really feel kind of makes it along with the tuberose, it, it kind of adds that sensual vibe or it adds that sensuality to it. Also, I did find that this had a more synthetic vibe to it, but it does play off very well. So that is something to definitely keep in mind. Yeah, and in terms of the personality of this fragrance, I would say that it's pretty, it's flirty, it's fun and it's very feminine yeah so definitely fun and flirty and feminine so you know if you're looking for a fragrance that has that kind of vibe to it definitely check this one out um, and just you know speaking of that I just want to quickly touch on the bottle design of this fragrance um, you know the scandal line you know it's those flirtatious legs standing up in the air, which is so cute and so coquettish. Um, I feel like, you know, with this fragrance and with the scandal line, um, it's like it's teasing you and kind of summoning you to come and try out the fragrance, um, which is really, you know, it's fun, right? It's got that fun vibe and it wants you to have fun. Yeah, and I feel like, you know, that's also what the fragrance is about. Um, so anyways, when would you wear a fragrance like this? When is it a good time to wear this fragrance? Well, I would say that this is an ideal scent for year round. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty flexible. Um, I might wear it personally more, I would say maybe in the springtime, maybe in the fall. Um, yeah, just to like really enhance that raspberry note. Um, or the juicy raspberry note in it and the tuberose. Um, I would also say that this is a really great fragrance for things like shopping, dinner, dates, uh, cocktails with your friends. Yeah, so I think this one really works well with that. Yeah, and in terms of style and accessories, I would say this is a great scent for a lot of different outfits. Um, you know, to bring out that more elegant vibe, which it does also have, um, I would say you could pair it with a cute little black skirt, a black dress, um, a cute top, and for those that really want to take it to the next level and really kind of bring out that flirty Parisian sweetheart essence, I would say, you know, maybe a little neck scarf, um, a beret, 
Um, for more of an evening look, I would say like really cute fishnet stockings, maybe a little hair fascinator, a cocktail ring, um, definitely stilettos. And yeah, I would say that that would really just be so cute with this fragrance. Um, in terms of colors that I think would really work well with this fragrance, I would say, you know, definitely reds, definitely the deep dark reds, um, burgundy, obviously it's in the fragrance, and as well, um, dark purples, blacks, and I would even say you could do pink with this, um, but like a darker pink. Yeah, and the thing about these fragrances is, yeah, they're really nice. You know, they're really great and beautiful and all of that. But as well, you know, they're really to be explored. So go out there, have fun with them, try on different things in your wardrobe, different accessories, see what really works well with them and what really just highlights them. Um, I know personally, I love doing that. You know, um, I love it when a fragrance and an outfit and the makeup and the accessories all come together in like a really seamless way. So yeah, guys, explore it and have fun. Anyways, guys, that pretty much sums it up for So Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, I hope this review helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can always check out my page, which I will link below. Anyways, have a fabulous day and happy spritzing, guys.